Now let's get let's let's get to understand this thing. Gatins we say yap. The Holy Ghost is God. He is not junior God. When you hear God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, it does not mean that uh, he is the weakest of the three. But this has been said to distinguish their personalities. That uh, these are three personalities. As it is, is raka itwa kuti ziraki se kuti vanu vata tu. But they are one. As it mume chete. And they are equal. And they vaka yenzana. Eh? From the start. Kuvape kutanga. In Genesis. Kupogure kutanga. We see the dispensation of God the Father. Tinaona nguva ya mwari baba. He was the one who was in charge. Ndo vangavari vachitonga. His voice was heard. His viravo reigns weaker. And it looks like the Holy Spirit was like subject to him. Zaita zokunge muyamutre ni wanga uripasi. But they are working together. As if I shunned a bossy. They know how to give each other time to express themselves. Vanons with his son as Rukupana Namikana, Yokuzi Rati. But if it is the time of the Father, Kanaguti Iringuva Yababa, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, Jesu Nemuam Trini, look like they are servants to the Father. Vaita Sevaranda Kunababa. And then it worked from Genesis. Zagashanda says was Ukvakuna Genesis to Malachi. Kuskapana Malachi. And then came the son. Do Pagava Pawya Mwari wana command. And uh, he worked from mm, uh, 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 Matthew, the, the gospels. Agatanga Pama Gospel Ma Mana. And we're seeing the action of the son. Did you wanna mapaza in wana command? Men had sinned. And uh, the father was the one who was now dealing with that. And because of sin, man was not allowed to be in the presence of the father. There was a separation between the father and the, 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 the man that he has created. Somebody was supposed to die for the reconciliation of man who is a sinner and the father. Panga pa kuda muna no yaku zofa kuti abata ni zimwari baba na van vanga wakata. And the person who was supposed to die was supposed to be a man who have no sin. Muno anga chifandra kufa anga chifandra unge ari muno asina kumpotaza. And that's where Jesus Christ come in. Do paga vapa uya Jesu. He came without sin. Aka uya asina chivi. So that he can qualify to be a redeemer of men who had sinned against God. Waka uya asina chivi kuti akotze rekuwa iye muziki nuri wevandu vanga vataza. So Jesus Christ came and bridged the gap between the Father and men. Now he purpose purpose. Listen very carefully. His purpose was to die Kufa for the enemies of God. So that there will be no enmity between God and men. Remember, men had become an enemy of God. So much that if men could be found in the presence of God, he will die there and there without any, without talking. In the Holy of Holies, with the sin on you, you are supposed to die. 
zvanga zvakamira sei zvikuti munhu nechivi akangowana kwari muvepo hamwari anga achifa asina kutaura pasina zvaita now listen that was the mission and the purpose of jesus christ do chinangwa cha jesu to come kuuya and die kuzofa so that god and his enemies called men kuti mwari nemuvengi wake anonzi munhu can be reconciled the one kujikidzana so jesus christ had not come to punish the enemies of god but he had come to be punished so that god and his enemies can be reconciled Jesu hana kuya kuzoparadza muvengi wa mwari but wa uya kuzofa kuti muvengi wa mwari azova mwana wa mwari this is the reason do chikonzero why they gave him the book to read in in Luke chapter number 4 do chikonzero pavakampa buku kubukura ruka i hope people are following me so far do not end a muruku terera zvinezvo chapter 4 let's read from verse 14 now he is returning and jesus returned in the power of the spirit into galilee and there went out a great fame of him throughout the region round about jesus akadzokera kugariri musimba romweya uye shoko pamsoro pake rakapararira kumativi ose enyika then and he taught in their synagogues being glorified of all men akadzidzisa muma synagogue avo uye munhu wese akamurumbidza and he came to nazareth where he had been brought up and uh, as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the sabbath day and stood up for to read akaenda kunazareth kwa akanga arerwa uye nemusi we sabata akapinda mu synagogue Setsika yake akazimuka akaverenga and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah and when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written rugwaro rwakapetwa rwa Isaiah rwakapiwa kwa ari pakurupedenura akawana pakanga pakanyorwa kuti Listen listen to this. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the broken hearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Mweya mtrene uri pamsoro pangu. Nokuti akandi zodza kuti ndiparidze vhangeri kuvarombo. Akandi tuma kuti ndiparidze rusununguko kune vakasungwa. Uye kuti vasingaoni vaone kuti ndisunungure vakamanikidzwa. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Kuti ndiparidze gore rakanaka rashe. And he closed the book. And he gave it again to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened unto him ipapo akapeta rugwaro akarizorera kumbati akanga gara pasi meso avanhu vose vakanga vari mu synagogue akanga ati nde paari and he began to say unto them this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears uye akatanga nokuti kwavari nas rugwaro uru rwazadziswa munzeve dzenyu but if you check that scripture where he has read in isaiah chapter 61 ukatara rugwaro rumwe chete kuna isaiah you will find that jesus christ closed the book before the passage was complete Ujaona kuti Jesu wakapeta rugwaro rugwaro rusati rwapera In other words the reason why he didn't read throughout the passage was because the other part did not belong to him it belonged to the Holy Ghost Chikonzero wakapeta asati apedza ndeje kuti chimwe chikamu changa chisiri chake changa chiri chamwe ya mutsene And I want you to see where he cut off 
and it didn't continue was, this is not his area he had come to die so that God and his enemies can be reconciled and to leave the other part to be fulfilled by the Holy Ghost in his dispensation Isaiah 61 verse 1 Isaiah 61 from verse 1 Now let's let's see this This is the passage that Jesus read The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he hath sent me to bind up the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound mwea washe jehova uri pamsoro pangu nokuti jehova akandizodza kuti ndiparidze vhangeri kuva rombo akandituma kuti ndirape vane moyo yakaputsika kuti ndiparidze kusunungurwa kuvatapwa nokubudiswa kwavakasungwa kuti vabve murima now He went on verse 2. Everybody verse 2. I want you to look at the screen. And I want you to read. One to go to, to proclaim the acceptable year of, of the, the Lord. Lord. Was that the end of the sentence? Yeah. It's not the end of the sentence. There is a comma there. Mm. Which means Jesus was supposed to continue with that sentence to the end and also continue with the passage to the end but when he came to a place where his assignment was going to end he closed the book Even before the sentence was finished pakasvika panogumira basa rake ranga achifanira kuita kunonzi wakapeta hana kuzoenderera mberi because from that comma going forward it's no, no longer his assignment it's now the assignment of the holy spirit nokuti kubva pana koma ranga rise siri basa rake ranga ra basa rimwe ya mutsheni so i want to show you the mission and the purpose of the holy spirit ndoda kuti ndikurakidze chinangwa ne basa rimwe ya mutsheni it starts from that koma rinotanga pana koma ipapa and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all those that mourn kunonzi kuti zuva rokutsiva kwamwari wedu kuti ndinyaradze vose vanochema if you miss that ukapotsa ipapa you will continue mourning in life ucharamba uchingochema muupenyu the holy ghost number one mission basaramwe ya mutsene rokutanga is revealed from the scriptures sekuragizwa kunoitwa mumagwaro is to bring vengeance to the enemies of god and so that the children of god who are mourning can now have a good life kuya kuzotsiva kuva vengi vevana vamwari kuti vanochema vazonyaradzwa now i want to show you why the holy ghost is coming with vengeance no doubt ndiko kuragidza kuti why mwe ya mutrainer uya kuzotsiva he is coming with vengeance because au ya kuzotsiva nokuda kwekuti these people vano ava were sinners vanga vari vatadzi and they were attacked for their sins vanga vachipomegwa nekuda kwezviri zvavo but jesus christ came and died for them as he jesus waka uya kuzovafira and took away sin from them ukavisa chivi pavane now they are not supposed to continue suffering vanga vasingafandiri kuramba vachitambura because the cause of their suffering which is sin jesus took away nekuda kwe kuti janga chita kuti vatambure chiri Jesu wakachibvisa so anybody who sh- who is making any child of god to suffer he is trying to d- 
defy the works that Jesus has done on the cross. So wese ari kuita kuti mwana wa Mwari atambure ari kuza makuzhoropodza basa rakaitwa na Jesu. And remember your salvation was not purchased by silver and gold. Ndoda kuti uranga rire kuti ruponeso rwako harina utengwa na Mwari. You were redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. Wakaponeswa ne ropa rakakosha ra Jesu. Anybody that want to oppose that wese anoda kupikisa izvozvo should be willing to pay with their blood anofanira kubhadhara ne ropa rake because it is blood that has redeemed you if you want to oppose me you cannot come with anything less It is blood that has redeemed me. Nekuti ropa rakandiponesa. It is blood. It was Jesus death. Irufu rwa Jesu. That has redeemed the church. Rakaponesa kereke. And if you want to oppose our redemption, you cannot come with anything less than death and blood. Kana uchida kupikisa ruponeso rwedu haufaniri kuya nechinhu chidoko chinodziri pasi pero para Jesu Jesus Christ calls the Holy Ghost the comforter Jesu uno tikuna mwe amtsene munyarazi He says it is expedient for me that I go because if I don't go the comforter will not come Jesu uno tizvaka nakira imi kuti ndiende nekuti ndikasaenda munyaradzi hanga uye And the comforter is the Holy Ghost Munyaradzi ndimwe yamutsvene And in that scripture pamagwaro iwayo Verse 2 verse 2 of Isaiah 61 In that scripture I said to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mon do you see that the, do you see that jesus called him the comforter and they said if they are going to be comforted by the comforter there must be vengeance on the enemy of of the ones that are trying to stop the the, the their redemption to be re- Jesus uno dipano da munyaradzi Jesus said that it is good for me to go because if i don't go they come will not come and zvakanaka kuti ndiende nekuti ndikasaenda munyaradzi hanga uyi and at the day of vengeance to comfort those that mourn and zuva rekunyaradzwa rino uya nekunikwesiva yamwe yamutsvene so the holy ghost is the comforter mwe yamutsvene ndiye munyaradzi how does he comfort us ano nyaradza say by killing your enemy nokuraya muvengi wako shantelebedia limara ndalava yandelebe he comfort us by stretching out a sword unoti against the one who does not want you to have proof of your redemption unoti nyaradza nokuburitsa munondo pane uyo asingadi kuti uponeso rwako robatike when you you got redeemed pawakaponeswa there are what we call the fruits of redemption pane michero yeruponeso the enemy who do not want you to have proof satan hadi kuti uve une humbo that you were redeemed kuti wakaponeswa that jesus died for you kuti jesus akakufira he does not want it as he did also jesus said by whose stripes we were healed but here we have a church that is full of those that are sick why because the enemy is opposing redemption in your life Jesus uno dina mavanga angu church yakaporeswa asi nhasi tine vanhu vari kurwara nekuti muvengi hadi kuti uve une humbo weruponeso rwako The Bible says that for we know the grace of our Lord Jesus that though he was rich but for conceit sake he became poor so that conceit through his poverty might become rich but why is it that we still find poverty in the church the enemy is trying to sit on the on the your redemptive right and your redemptive fruit he doesn't want the fruit of prosperity to manifest in your life 
Anzi nekuti akwenyasha dziri pamusoro pa Jesu Kristo wakava murombo kuti sitizo vavapfumi so ibasa romuvengi kuti tirambe tiri varombo kuti tisave nehumbo we upfumi Jesu wakatigira Right now if you go out ukabuda panze your boss asks you mo boss wako akakupfunza Mimi munoenda ku church You are the one that goes to church. What do you have to show that you are a child of God? You are working in a company of a heathen. You are saluting him. He is the one paying you. It's like Jesus died for nothing. Urukushanda uji saluta. Bosi vasinga namati zvoita unge Jesu zvakafira hapana. Why is it like that? Zvakaiti reisa izvozvo. Red dragon. Pane shato tsuke red dragon kune muvengi does not want you to have a fruit hadi kuti ubate michero and unless there is woe pakasavane hondo you will not have anything to show in your life atinga vine humbo unobatika and we win that war by the holy ghost you know we na hondo nekuda kwamwe yamtsone our comforter Anoti nyaraza. Our helper. Anoti basira. Our stand by. Anomira Yesu. And right now. Is the Holy Ghost. We are praying. Is angry. Akatsama. With your enemy. Nekuda kwemuvengi wako. Enesti yo yo your redemptive fruits. Arukuru wane umpo we urpane soro wako. I tell you the truth and I lie not. You know who tell right so quiet. From this service. Kuba parushando ro. You will have the fruits of redemption to show. Ujava ne mitse You will have the fruits of redemption to show. There shall be no more sick men in this house. Because that is against the finished work of Calvary. There shall be no more Poor men in this house. Because that is against the finished work of Calvary. There shall be no more Paren among us. Apazovine uya singabati pamuyi. Because that is against the finished work of Calvary. Nekuti zvinopokana nebasa rakaitwa pa Calvary. How is that going to be? Zvinoitika sei. How are we going to have fruits? Zvinobata sei michero. When the war is won for your sake.